Hello, everyone. Welcome back. Um, I'd like to share a verse before we begin. Romans 8, 31 through 34. What then shall we say to these things? If God is for us, who can be against us? He who did not spare his own son, but gave him up for us all, how will he not also with him graciously give us all things? Who shall bring any charge against God's elect? It is God who justifies. Who is to condemn? Christ Jesus is the one who died. More than that, who is raised, who is at the right hand of God, who indeed is interceding for us. So as we uh, begin our time of worship, I'd like everybody to keep in mind that God is our, our advocate. He is our strength. So we have a tendency to try to rely too much on our own strength. But I just want everyone to, uh, to dwell on the fact that Almighty God, who created the heavens and the earth, is our advocate and our strength. If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can dare to stand against the Lord? If God be for us, who can be against us? Who can dare?
Dear Jesus, this is our, our prayer to you. Lord, you, uh, you hold the universe in your hands, and yet you uh, seek an intimate relationship with each and every one of us, Lord. Lord, help us not to sin. Help us not to turn away from you. Help us to keep our eyes fixed on you, Lord, as you draw us closer to you. Help us not to, uh, to taint our relationship with you, Lord. Help us to be obedient in your commandments, Lord, and help our, our hearts to be uh, aligned with yours, Lord. Help us to treat others as uh, you would have us treat them. In Jesus' name, amen. Someday when uh, Jesus comes again and it's all over, uh, this will happen. Revelation 4, verses 10 through 11. The 24 elders fall down before him who is seated on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They cast their crowns before the throne, saying, Worthy are you, our Lord and God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things, and by your will they existed and were created. We fall down. Oh 